Hello, good morning, good afternoon, good day, whatever, whatever that day it is. I think you should have a high spirit and high enough. What is it? We call it as a um, confidence. Yeah. Okay. Uh, right now, we are going to discuss about the other um, lecture about the microprocessors. So, I try to make as simple as possible. Yeah, I am trying to make it simple as possible. So, then we are having uh, simplifying of a microprocessor concept which is uh, firstly being invented by um, what is it who invent uh, simple as possible I think uh, American guy that study about uh, microprocessors. Honestly, it is so hard to find the invention, but I used the book of Kaukasik, Indian guy, that wrote about the uh, SAP. So, we have a SAP1, SAP2, and so on and so forth there. Yeah. However, we are trying to know the SAP1 first, before we continue to uh, further SAP, further architectures. So, first thing first, we are going to see what will happen in the lecture? Okay. So, this slide uh, being composed and uh, compiled from the book of introduction 8085 by Dr. Kaukasik. What is it? So, the idea is SAP is the simplest concept of microprocessors. It only 8-bit computers. So, then you can uh, able to process 8-bit data, which is the microprocessor or memory can only store 16 words. Each word being 8-bit long. So, length of the memory address will be 4-bit since 2 power 4 equals to 16. So, 16 is the total capacity. Please see the, sorry, please see the table here. So, we have a 16 location of the address. Its address has a 8 bit long. Okay. We call it the memory here is MAR, Memory Address Registers, will be 0, 0, 0, 0, 0, 1, 1, 1, 1 here. How it works? So basically, basic architecture of this computer is shown at this one. It contains 8 bit W pass, wired pass which is used for data transfer to various 8-bit registers. A pass is a group conducting wire. So, I already told you in a previous slide, a long, long time ago, that the pass is actually the wire. So, the medium where the data being transported. So, W pass here is three state. Yeah, three state, three state condition. So, one simple clue about three state condition. Three state condition is allow you to hold data to separate between input and output, between 
transmitter and receiver and vice versa and it may make uh, half duplex communication so it is one way communication when sender a to receiver b having communication so then the medium will allow only one data transfer after one data transfer is finished then the other data transfer may allow to being transported so how to become a card so then the other data transfer should be hold for a moment after the current data transfer is finished how he do that simple by using the idea of high impedance so high impedance may become kind of a guard kind of a door so then it can hold for a moment data that not yet been low to transport low to execute until the other data transfer is finished yeah that technology that idea is being called as a three state machine yeah i mean not a machine uh, i should correct what i'm saying three state components okay three state components okay as you see um this is a program counter yeah and we have a accumulator of course we have a memory address registers and input we have a lu adder substractor and so on and so forth we have a ram we have a register p which help lu to do their job so we have an output register we have a instruction register we have a binary display oh yeah we have a control sequencer So simply saying, the address is 4 bit long, the data is 8 bit long. It is r rather, dif uh, rather different between 8085 with, wait, sorry, with address more than 8, 16, yeah, 16. and the data is 8 yeah 16 bit but the data is 8 so our current situation is address is 4 bit long data is 8 okay next so we are going to discuss one by one uh, program counter as i said the previous class uh, we call it as a pointer basically the part of control unit in the beginning in the beginning sorry program data is stored in the memory through the input unit so then the memory address is started from 0, 0, 0, 0. okay and then after the execution already done the pointer will be point incrementally by point 0.1 so the next what is it the next address that being pointed by program counter is actually the address where the next sequence of instruction being uh, will be processed. Okay. So we have a memory address register. We call it as a MAR, which is have a four bit address and eight bit data. The input of MAR sends 4-bit address and 8-bit data to the memory unit. This unit helps storing instruction and data to the memory. So before the computer run start, this unit includes a metric of switches is processed. 
Okay, it's working. So simply saying, memory address register is just kind of a register that need to be um, arranged, yeah, arranged in some way. So then it can be ready to do the store and fetch, fetch the data. Okay. We have instruction registers. As already discussed in the previous execution program, the content of a trace memory location is placed on the W bus. At the same time, during the next positive age, the clock pulse of this instruction is loaded in the instruction register. And then after that, instruction register now split the content of the instruction 8 bit into two nipples. One nipple is 4 bit long. We call it as a less significant nipple and the most significant nipple. So, instruction register send the upper nipple directly to the counter sequencer and the lower nipple into the, what is it, uh, common, yeah, it is the same with the upper nipple directly to counter sequencer, but the lower nipple, which is contained the data, will be, yeah, will be sent also in the controller and sequencer, but it will be hold uh, whenever the process on the data organization or manipulating is uh, already uh, uh, done. Okay, and if it is done, then uh, the three states already off, then that, uh, what is it? We call it as address. The lower address being put, being uh, sent to the upper nipper, upper, upper nipple together with the previous upper nipple, okay? So, lower nipple and upper nipple, finally, able to be used in couple. Okay, it is. So, we are talking about the control sequencer. So, the idea is creating this one, this carrot here. So, for example, increment when CP is high, um, enable PC when EP is high and then load MRR MER from the W pass when LM is low and so on and so forth. Yeah. So this one is accumulator. Accumulator is uh, register E and it is also called the power register when L A is low, the data from the W bus is loaded to the accumulator at positive edge of the clock pulse. This data also directly goes to the adder and substrate. So basically, adder substructure is the arithmetic logical unit of the computer. This block contain P register to accumulator content when S U is low. Similarly, this book can subtract content of P register from accumulator content when S is high. Okay. Register P. Simply saying register P is the register, only register that help LU to their job. Okay. This is the output register O. Output register O is part of output unit. 
SAP1 computer at the end the execution program the answer a file ball at the accumulator may be transferred to output register O at the positive edge of the clock pulse and L O is low. This register is also called the output port. So we have a binary display. So the idea, this display unit contains eight LED. So it can be used as a display. In order to notify the users whether the system, the, uh, the, the creation system is um, final, okay. So finally, we go to instruction set. So because of simple as possible, yeah, you already, okay, let me So this one is, um, what is it, control registers. So program counter here, have a daddy, have a duty, sorry, have a duty to pointing the, what is it, address, yeah. Pointing the address, the next address, okay. And then we have a uh, LDA, Nemoic, yeah, our language, at sub out and halt, which is, uh, it has amplified the operation here. So I need you to notice the animation If you have a further question, you can access the video in YouTube. So we have a program counter first, and then goes to the W pass, and then goes to the input and memory register. So memory register now being split into two, this one. lower and upper nipple and then goes to W pass, go to instruction register. So for register from stuff being uh, input into the RAM for uh, buffering and then goes to accumulator. Okay, if you already finished the watching session, so this is the fat cycle that uh, you already see in the previous video. So fat cycle, uh, time one is uh, 
you know first thing first we should have a memory so memory being uh, granted by for example like uh, program counter program counter and then use uh, data in the RAM so data from RAM being uh, fetch yeah based on the location that uh, denoted by program counter so and then after that uh, this one uh, goes to RAM doing fast fetch sorry and then after that the three, yeah, memory address register is active, and you guys have here. So, in the number number four, if I'm not mistaken, the logic of of uh, addition and subtraction being executed okay so this one is uh, load data accumulator so load data accumulator uh, mar this is loading data and then the instruction register is active and then do the con on uh, block here and then in the T5 all the data here being put or pushed to the accumulator okay so T6 is halt no operation this is the add and sub so as I told you previously the activity in the LU add and subtraction will be executed in the T4 yeah T4 and T5 here uh, for example this one MR MER instruction register and the con and then for T5 we use the block register P in order to help the addition and subtraction work so this one is also do the same this is the block block that active whenever the addition subtraction and out uh, being executed so for example R8 have uh, this one 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 and zero 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 execute the instruction of LDA eight hexa and it will use it will result one 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 zero 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 so addition eight sorry nine hexa decimal this one and it will be here two hexa and will be three hexa this one is subtraction so we going to what is it we going to move into the machine cycle and instruction cycle so this one is a heartbeat okay T1, T2, T3, T4, and so on and so forth. So, uh, basically, T1, T2, T3 is the moment where the microprocessor takes something in order to organize the execution. T4, T5, and T6 will be when the microprocessor is having uh, understanding all the instruction that 
uh, it need to be followed and then the four is the moment when the microprocessor is do the execution until the six whenever the microprocessor is held okay we call it as as a uh, machine cycles and also the instruction cycles so we also able to combine the timing diagram as following so this is the instruction uh, cycle or cyclus whenever you do the programming thing then will bunch of uh, program equals with the white of uh, pulse wider pulse meaning that you have a lot of delay it is and it can be arranged in some way just like this this is we already understand yeah so LTA is here addition is here okay write an assembly language that perform a following operation 7 plus 6 minus 4 plus 5 minus 3 use memory location 7h to ph for the data further convert this program into the machine language so first thing first we need to put all the what is it on the question which is first thing first is at uh, a store store the question yeah so store the data to the register moment momentary register so we have a lta7 hex and then at eight hex hex sorry sub nine hexa at a hexa and so on and so forth okay thank you for the attention and god bless you